Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. So what we're going to do today is a 30 minute back, bicep, and cardio. So we're gonna mix all that up together. So I have a range of weights because kind of what I can do for my back's a little heavier than what I can do for my biceps. So I've got my 10 and my 12 kind of towards that, and my 15 and my 20, I know I've got a lot of range. If you don't have that, kind of grab your medium and your light weights. As you fatigue, you may need those. Don't forget to sweat, talent, and drink, and your great attitude. <laughs> Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you grabbed your weights and you're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna just open and close that chest. Really opening and throwing those thumbs up and down. Getting big, wide range of motion. Get a little bit of bounce in there because we're gonna get that heart rate up there today too, right? Two more. Last one. And then we're just gonna do a cross here. Start getting that shoulder complex moving and shaking. And that heart rate up there a little bit. Last one. And then we're gonna go diet. Now let's get that range in there. Oh yeah. We've got two more. And then we're gonna go cross again. Here we go. A little more oomph to these. And then we're going diagonal. Oh yeah. Last one. And then right here, swing to the sides. So we're getting that lateral, we're getting that shoulder all moving and shaking. Two more. Last one. And the other side. A lot of upper body focus, but we're also gonna have that cardio. So we wanna still keep that whole trunk and that leg moving. Last one. And then we're gonna come down and a big arm circle. So touch the floor and that squat and give me an arm circle. Oh yeah, two more. And then we gotta go the other direction. Oh yeah. Not as, it's a little more awkward, but I still getting that range of motion. Two more. Last one. Yeah, and then let's just rotate that trunk right here. Nice movement there happening. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna touch down and windmill to each side. Reach in, so we're starting to get those hamstrings a little bit fired up and that trunk moving a little bit more in that rotation. Last one. Oh yeah, and then let's go right down here into quadruped. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just sink those shoulder blades down and up, getting that movement and that stability getting that back all ready to rock and roll last one and then you're gonna go right here plank and pike get that hip those legs moving a little bit more two more last one and you're gonna step through and we're gonna go rotate to the side and then drive that elbow in that nice good lunge position rotating both directions Last one, and then we're gonna straighten that knee and glide. Two more. Last one, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna rotate over that knee and then drive that elbow up to that knee. Rotate and drive. Two more. Last one. And then we're gonna go straighten that knee and Getting that hip flexor, getting that hamstring moving. Two more, last one, and then come on up. Okay, so we're gonna rotate those wrists. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna go the other direction. And then we're gonna do some big hip circles. And the other direction. And then big hip circles. And the other direction. Then we're gonna stretch out those forearms. Oh yeah, right out here and then down. And the other side, we do a lot of gripping activities and so we need a lot, those nice and stretched out. We've got one more on each side. Stretch those wrists out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then down. And then out. And then down. And then lastly, we're just gonna throw those arms right up overhead and get that upper trunk extension. And we're gonna talk about our first activities. We're gonna work for 40 seconds today. Here's the last one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do hammer curl. We're gonna have our thumbs up towards the ceiling. We're gonna come up and down. Elbows are tight against that, that torso, okay? No chicken wing. You're coming up and back down. No momentum. You're using just from that elbow. Then we're gonna rotate the thumbs or the palms up and we're gonna do the bicep curls this way. So we're gonna burn those out. So grab a weight you think you can do. 
I'm gonna start with my 15. I'm gonna start with those hammer curls. We're gonna roll our shoulders back. And here we go. Three, two, one. So we're coming up and back down. Just bending right through those elbows and back down. Nice and controlled. Nice, good, steady trunk. Okay, my knees aren't locked in extension. They've like got a little bit of a slight bend. So that way I can have a nice, good, solid trunk. You're coming up and back down. Keep it up, 15 more seconds. Then we're gonna go to rock, rock it over to the bicep curl. Three, two, one. We're gonna turn around and do the bicep curl. Okay, so our palms are gonna be facing up. Those elbows are gonna be tight against our torso. Here we go, three, two, one. So up we go and back down. Nice and controlled. Okay, I know, starting to fatigue, aren't we? We may need to drop down for the second round. Again, my knees are soft. My trunk is nice and engaged. No momentum. If you're starting to swing, drop that weight. We want that nice and isolated to those biceps. Nice and controlled. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, I'm gonna drop to my 12, just a little less for me. Making sure I can have that good form. So we're going back to those hammer curls. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up we go, and down. Woo, those guns are firing now, right? <laughs> so you're just pulling that straight up, back down, just bending through those elbows, keeping that nice and tight, no chicken wings, and no momentum. Stay nice and controlled, drop the weight if you start having that momentum. You got 20 more seconds of this. Then we're gonna finish out with a bicep curl with the palms supinated up towards that ceiling. And then the next super set, we'll work on the back. How about that? Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're supinated. We've got our hands up facing the ceiling. We've got our shoulders rolling back and we're finishing out with the bicep curl. Three, two, one, up we go and back down. Oh yeah. Stay controlled. We're gonna go do in the back. We're gonna do some bent over rows. Next, we're gonna do some with like a regular bent over row and some with a wider bent over row. So we'll drop the weight usually for that. Nice and controlled. Again, your trunk is moving. It's nice and steady, I mean, and you're just moving through those elbows. Yeah, they're fatigued. <laughs> they're burning out for sure. Keep it up, you got this. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Oh, shake those out. Okay, so the next first one, so you want a nice, good, solid trunk. You wanna bend right here at the hips and hinge. We're gonna row and squeeze that shoulder blade back. The first round, we got those elbows nice and tight against our chest and we're just driving those elbows right back up towards that ceiling as we drive and squeeze those shoulder blades. The other activity we're gonna do is this time we're gonna get wide. We're gonna squeeze right here. So we're gonna keep our palms facing behind us and we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades in that nice, good wide elbow stance, okay? So grab the weight first for the bent over rows. Roll those shoulders back, hinge at those hips. Three, two, one. Now this ends up bothering your back. You can go down into a three point and do one side and the next round do the other side, back. Totally fine. Protect your body where you're stable. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Dry that elbow straight back towards that ceiling. Yep, we're gonna fatigue it out. 40 seconds is a long time when you're just focusing on the same muscle group, the whole superset. Come on, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Now you're probably gonna need to drop the weight down because we're gonna widen that out and squeeze. 
Okay, so palms are facing behind you or facing your body. And here we go. Three, two, one. You're lifting and squeezing. Keep those palms facing you or behind you. You're squeezing those shoulder blades in that nice, good, wide row. This is where we get the chicken wings. This is when we want chicken wings. Come on, keep it up. Squeeze that shoulder blade and come back down. 15 more seconds. And then we're going back to the regular, typical row we do. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo. My hands get tired of gripping, so you may need to stretch those out. That Those forearms are firing, that's from that gripping activity. Okay, let's do that bent over row. Let's roll those shoulders back. Here we go, three, two, one. Nice, good, stable, solid back. Squeeze those shoulder blades, drive those elbows to the ceiling. Nice and controlled. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You got this, come on. Keep breathing. Making sure you have nice solid core foundation and then you're driving through those elbows. Up, squeeze that shoulder blade. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. My favorite word sometimes. Okay, we're doing that wide row now. Let's get in position. Here we go, three, two, one. Squeeze those shoulder blades again. Those palms are facing you or the back behind you. You're just thinking about squeeze those shoulder blades. It's a little bit different, it's similar to a back fly, a little bit different in our positioning. All working those muscles, those fibers, just a little bit differently. Just like when we do a squat, sometimes we have wide, narrow, changes it up just a little bit. Targets fibers just a little bit differently. Come on, 10 more seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're gonna do a combination movement. In a sense, we're gonna do some bicep and some back. So we're going to do a pronated curl. So that means our palms are facing our body and we're curling just like we did before. We're just driving that elbow up and down, but that curl is going to add a lot of grip muscle. So just know that that's going to fatigue quickly. The other activity we're going to do is we're going to go and do that back fly. So now my palms are facing myself. I'm reaching out for wide, wide, not as this was wide. This is even wider. So you're going to have to drop that weight a little bit more for that. So let's start with our pronated curl roll our shoulders back and here we go three two one so keeping those elbows towards that chest we're lifting up with those elbows and our palms are facing our body and this is really working grip muscle which is important grips actually what limits most of our activities and um, when we're lifting it's a lot of times what most people are lacking when they're trying to do a pull-up or a deadlift it's important for us to work on our grip. It's also important in our daily activities. We do a lot of gripping activity, but just know we need to stretch that out a little bit more, or you may be a little more sore for that. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, back fly right here. Woo, now again, I don't have my elbows locked. They're nicely, they're slightly bent, but they're not bent like we were with our elbows at 90 last time. Here we go. Three, two, one, again, hinge at that hip, squeeze those shoulder blades, out wide, in, squeeze. <sighs> nice and controlled. Again, I have my back nice and stable. My weight's on those heels with my knees bent. My back is not collapsed or arched. And then I'm focusing on squeezing those shoulder blades as I lift. Halfway there. <sighs> Keep it up, you got this. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, I'm gonna drop my weights for these. Oh. Stretch out my wrists again. 
Okay, you can put those palms right together, stretch that, rotate that around, kind of stretches out those grip muscles. Oh yeah. Okay, pronated curls. Three, two, one. Let's lift, back and down. Nice and controlled. Keeping that body upright, no swinging. We're just lifting through. Come on, you got 20 more seconds. Oh yeah, <laughs> keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Okay, we got back fly after this. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, back fly next. All right, so we're reaching down and lifting and squeezing. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Lift and squeeze and back down. So the next move, the next superset, we're gonna finish doing um, combination movements. So we're gonna do a back bicep kind of combination move with those activities. So we'll do a bent over row, but we'll do it in a supinated position where you're almost doing a bicep curl as you pull it back in that row position. Woo. And then we'll do a little bit of the elbows bent rotation. Getting again that bicep in that back. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're gonna have those weights facing us. We're gonna pull back and row. And as you pull back, you're gonna kind of almost do that bicep curl as you squeeze that elbow. Okay, so we're gonna do a, like almost like a bicep curl as we drive those elbows back. The other one we're gonna do is we're gonna start pronated and then we're gonna rotate to supinated. So we're gonna start with our palms facing us. We're gonna rotate to the palms facing out as we squeeze up. Again, we're kind of adding that bicep in there as we squeeze that back. So I'm gonna start with my 12 because I'm starting to get fatigued. <laughs> We're gonna start in our hands supinated. Okay, so we're gonna be palms up, bend over, three, two, one, and squeeze. Okay, so good, nice, good back. I'm just hinging at that hip. I'm driving those elbows up towards the ceiling, palms facing up. So as I drive those elbows up, I'm getting almost in that, that bicep curl of that elbow. So I drive it back in that back. Keep it up. Squeeze that shoulder blade and come back down. Come on. 15 more seconds. Keep that butt out. Back nice and stable. Here we go. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, so we're going to start with our arms, our palms facing us, and we're going to rotate it into the supinated position, that palms up as we squeeze those shoulder blades. Coming down and squeeze. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and squeeze. <sighs> nice and controlled. Okay, again, my back's not collapsing. I have a nice, good, steady back. It's nice and strong. And I'm working at squeezing those shoulder blades as I rotate those arms. That rotation, work in those as you supinate in that position. That's one of the ways that your bicep works. Your bicep works in bending your elbow, but it also works in supinating. When, you, when I mean by supinating is I mean moving your palms up facing the ceiling. When that, mo that rotation is supination. Three, two, one. Okay, we got one more of each of those. Whew, I'm gonna drop down to my 10 so I stay in nice good form. Here we go, palms facing up, hinge at the hip. Three, two, one. So here we are in that supinated position. One of the motions that that bicep does, so it's fired up. And then we're squeezing those shoulder blades and bending that elbow. Again, bending that elbow, part of the action of the bicep. Squeezing the shoulder blades, part of the back. So we're doing all of it. And then we're done with this superset. We're finishing out with a nice good cardio blast. Grabbing that heart rate to finish out strong. 10 more seconds. I know you probably thought, oh, she probably forgot about that. We don't have to do cardio today. Nope, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're going again in that pronating. So we're gonna start in that 
palms facing us. We're gonna rotate into that supination where we pull that palms up as we squeeze those shoulder blades. This is it, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze. Drive those elbows back. You got this, come on. Keep going, keep going. Drive, drive, drive. You got 20 more seconds. Drive and come back down. 10 more seconds, come on. Finish strong here. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Next activity. Woo. Okay, so we're gonna jack, cross, cross, and jack. Cross, cross, and jack. Now, if you don't wanna jump, you're gonna cross, you're gonna do a step jack, and you're gonna cross and cross. Okay, the other activity is we're gonna have a weight or you can just throw your sweat towel on there and we're gonna hop right on over it. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you're gonna drive your knees and you're gonna just step and drive, okay? So those are the two activities we're gonna do. We're again gonna get 40 seconds of work and blast out some cardio, get that heart rate up, keep moving the whole 40 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So we're gonna jack, cross, cross, and jack. Cross and jack. So you can step jack or hop. That's up to you. But you're moving the whole time. Oh yeah. We're moving and we're shaking. Come on, you got this. 15 more seconds. This is where we're getting that heart rate up. We're blasting and we're blasting. Kind of feels good to move those arms, shake them out a little bit. Come on, four, three, two, one, rest. Now you can put a weight on the floor or you can put your towel, but something that gives you a visual that you're going up and over, okay? So again, you can drive those knees or you can add that hop. Three, two, one. You're right, you're coming up and over in lateral. You're using those arms, even if you're stepping, you're using those arms that's helping you keep a nice good heart rate up there and you're moving. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Boop, boop, boop. Stepping over and driving. 15 more seconds. Stay steady. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Back to that jack and cross on each side. You ready? Three, two, one. Jack it out, cross each side. We're gonna drive through those hips and give me some oomph behind it, okay? We want the heart rate up there. We gotta get those nice good crosses. Boom, boom, oh yeah. Mean some business. <laughs> Come on, halfway there. Stay strong. Come on, you got this. Woo. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Give me that visual. You've got that weight or your towel, maybe you don't trust yourself, just don't trip. But I want you really visualizing going up and over. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and over. Good news is, we only have one more superset left. We're gonna do some mountain climbers and some burpees. I know, I did, I said that B word, the burpee. <laughs> but we're gonna rock it and we're gonna finish strong. We're gonna feel good and accomplished. We're gonna say, yep, I got my weights in. I got my cardio in. I burned some calories and I felt great. And I'm ready and I'm energized. Feeling healthy and feeling strong. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go down. 
We're gonna do the mountain climbers. So we're gonna be in this position and we're gonna drive those knees like we're climbing that mountain. The other activity is we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we're gonna hop. And we're gonna step and step and explode up onto our toes. Okay, you gotta keep moving. You gotta explode. It's quick movement. You are keeping that heart rate up. That's your goal. You don't have to jump, but you do have to move and push yourself. That's the goal. That's how we get better. So let's get into mountain climbers. And here we go. Three, two, one. Let's rock it out. Climb that mountain. Let's go. What mountain are you picking to climb today? Climb it, climb it, climb it. It doesn't even have to be a physical mountain. Maybe it's a mountain you're trying to accomplish in your personal life, in your spiritual life. You can do this. Climb that mountain. Push, push. Visualize accomplishing it and getting and reaching. Let's go. Drive. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. You got 10 more seconds. Oh, yeah. I'm there. Oh, baby. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Enjoy the rest. We're going down and we're burping <laughs> to the best of our ability. We're moving and shaking the whole time. Keep moving. That's your goal. Move. Don't stop. Three, two, one. Let's go. As fast as you can go, pushing through that whole 40 seconds. We're starting to see that finish line. We're going to push through it and get all the way to the finish and cross it. Come on. Strong and steady and focus. You're reaching your goals. Come on. You can do it. Healthy, fit, and strong. Yes, we are. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is it. One set of mountain climbers. One set of burpees. We're doing cool down after this. Stay focused, stay moving. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's climb that mountain together. Come on, I'm right there with you. I'm climbing and moving. Oh yeah. Several mountains I wanna climb. I'm pushing. Drive those knees. You're working that core by driving it. You're going quickly, so you're keeping that heart rate up there. You don't have to hop, but you're moving. You're shaking. 15 more seconds. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to see that finish line. Oh, it's looking good. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, here we go. Finish. Don't quit early. Go all the way to the buzzer. Let's get these and rock these burpees and say, yes, I feel accomplished. I reached my goal. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up. And down. As fast as you can. Don't stop. Keep moving the whole time. You can do it. I know it. Keep pushing. Halfway there. Come on. Cool down after this. We see the finish line. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, rest that baby. Let's roll back in that child's pose. Oh, that feels good. Come and drop those hips. Stretch them out. And then come back in a child's pose. And then I want you to reach to the right, your right arm over that left in that child's pose. Give that back a little bit more. And then walk that over with your left over your right. And a little bit of that lateral in that back. Nice work. Come on up. <laughs> so let's open up that chest. Throw those arms up and open. Working that chest a little bit. Woo. Oh yeah. And then you're gonna pull that arm behind you. You're gonna rotate that thumb down and behind you get that bicep. Stretch out a little bit. We work that for sure. Nice work. And then you're gonna come back and we're gonna stretch out wrist. 
It worked hard, did a lot of gripping, didn't it? And then we're going to the other side. Throw that arm back, rotate it down and behind you. I'm getting that bicep, oh yeah. And then we're coming out, we're stretching that wrist. As we come down with that heart rate, huh? And then you're gonna take those arms, we're gonna push that back right out. Stretch those shoulder blades, push, 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 push. Lift on up, oh yeah. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right on up, you're gonna touch that floor and get those hamstrings a little bit and hang. And then you're gonna put those arms right behind you and see if you can drop those over, opening that chest a little bit more. And then you're gonna come on up and you're gonna give yourself a high five for rocking that. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and give me a thumbs up that you rocked it. If you wanna be a part of my Facebook group, we do a lot of coaching through that. That link is also below. Have a great day.